Okay, so let's take a look at this question, which is really a dimensional analysis question. Um, and the reason I say that is because we are going from a unit, which is a hundred liters per hundred kilometers to a different unit, which is in miles per US gallon. So we not only have to just, con we not only have to just convert kilometers to miles, we also have to convert volume liters to US gallons and also have the units um, reversed in such a way because if you look at what we're starting with we're starting with volume per di units of distance and then we're going to a unit of distance over volume so we have a lot of things here that we, ne we need to uh, to move around so this is a really good question um, in something that we call dimensional analysis because we're trying to find out what is the equivalent values for um, two relatively complicated units. So the first thing um, we need to do here is we need to look at what some of our basic equivalencies are. So these are this is something you'll have to look up um, or they, they would have to give you in the question, um, but they don't in this case here. So one of the first things we gotta know is how many kilometers are there in a mile? So a basic equivalency for that is that there are 1.61 kilometers is equal to one mile. Okay, and that's important because we need to create a ratio out of that. Um, and then the other thing we need to know is what about liters and US gallons? So the equivalency for that, let's bring that back here, is 3.79 liters is equal to one US gallon, okay? So these are the two basic equivalencies that we have to work with. Now from these, what we need to be able to do is generate some ratios here. So I'm just gonna number these one and two. Okay, and this is what you have to, to be comfortable in working out um, as you get deeper into a problem like this. So the first ratio that we can write is 1.61 kilometers over one mile. Okay, that's one ratio where we have kilometers on top and miles on the bottom. The other way we could write this ratio is one mile for every 1.61 kilometers. Okay, now which one we use is going to depend on how we need to manipulate our units and what we need to cancel. Okay, and therefore the other one is going to be 3.79 liters for every one US gallon, or we're going to have one US gallon for every 3.79 liters. Okay, so again, the, where the unit is depends on what we need to cancel. So just keep those in mind. These are some things when you work a question like this out, especially with you have a more complicated set of units, you'll, you need to, to, to have these ratios um, sort of sitting there so that we can kind of quickly grab them. So the other thing to look at here is that we are going from a unit of kilometers in the numerator, or sorry, the denominator to miles, which is in the numerator. So we're moving that unit to the top. And then likewise, we're taking liters and we're moving it to, which is unit of volume, and we're moving it to US gallons, which is on the bottom, okay? So how are we going to start something like this? So let's take a look at what we could do. So the first thing is let's put in some of our numbers here. So we have 15.63. Now when I, I'm gonna write out the units carefully here and we'll write them out as fractions. For, for every 100 kilometers, now the 100 is important because it's part of the denominator and it's also part of the unit for the kilometers part. Now we need to, what we have to do is we have to get rid of kilometers because our goal is to get it into miles now we want, but we also want miles on the top, <clears throat> but it doesn't look like we can really do that in one step. So we need a way to get rid of the unit of kilometers. So if kilometers is on the bottom, then what I, that tells me is I have to have a unit where the kilometers is on top. And then my only other choice is to have miles on the bottom. Okay, so the reason we do that is because we want these units kilometers to cancel each other out. <clears throat> okay, so then we go to our ratio and we go, okay, which has kilometers on top? So that is the 1.61 per every one mile. So we'll just write that down and put it in like that. 
that gets rid of our kilometers and we're left with miles, which is what we want, but it's in the wrong spot. It's on the bottom. So we'll have, we can deal with that a little bit later. Then the next thing let's do is let's get rid of liters. So because liters is on top, we're going to have to put liters on the bottom, which means that we're going to have the, the, its, its partner unit, the gallons unit on top. Okay, so again, just show that I can cancel liters, okay, by putting them on the bottom. And that means our liter value here is 3.79, and it's going to be for every one gallon. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So what we've done is we've gotten rid of liters and kilometers, and we're left with gallons, U.S. gallons on top, and miles on the bottom. Okay, now that's not exactly what we want, but it's, it's close for right now. So let's just work out what these numbers would be. So this is going to give us 15.63 times 1.61 times 1. So that is going to give us 25.16 as a unit on top. And what we're left with for units here is we just read what's left with on the top here. That's U.S. gallon. Okay, and then we're going to divide that by 100 times 1 times 3.79, which is 300 and 79 um, and in this case this is miles okay so now this gives us u.s gallons per uh, for every 379 miles now is that what we really want okay so we need to look at what our unit here is we need to reverse this okay we need miles on top and gallons on the bottom so why don't we just simply do that in this question okay this is just a unit where we have one number that goes with gallons is on top and the number with miles is on the bottom. So what we want to do is just rewrite it. So let's just put miles on top. Okay, so we have to bring the number 379 with that and then the 25.16 US gallon on the bottom. Okay, now this actually is starting to look like what we need now. We have miles on top and we have US gallons on the bottom. But now remember, every when we use a unit, we're talking about per gallon, okay? But we want something per U.S. gallon. Now, that means per one U.S. gallon when we set it up that way, okay? Per one U.S. gallon. So how do we get one U.S. gallon? Well, we can just simply divide by 25.16 for both units. Okay, so I'm just going to write it out. Normally we wouldn't write it out this complete, but I'm just going to do this for this. So we're going to take 379 and write it out by 379 divided by 25.16. And then we'll take 25.16 and divide it by itself. Okay, and remember, we still have U.S. gallons on the bottom, and this is going to be miles on top. So this is going to now get rid of the denominator, which is going to give us for every one U.S. gallon, okay, because it goes away, and then we have 379 divided by 25.16, and when you look at that on a calculator, that should give you something pretty close to, I think, what the solution is here, um, which is saying it is 15.1, I think it's like 15.06 miles per U.S. gallon, per one U.S. gallon. Okay, so this is the steps that you would have to do in order to do, um, you could do the second number there, but this is the step that you need in order to do when you're converting this whole thing. Okay, so first thing is write down your equivalencies for what you're trying to um, convert to. And remember, they have to be consistent. So distance to distance, volume to volume. Write out your two ratios so that you have the units top to bottom, okay? And then you can pick and choose which ones you want. And then start by looking at what you need to remove and what you need to, to have left over, okay? So the strategy in this one that we did was let's get rid of kilometers and be left with miles. And then let's get rid of liters and be left with U.S. gallons. Then we get a expression which has... U.S. gallons on top and miles on the bottom, but we have to go back to our original question and realize that it's reversed. We want miles on top, gallons on the bottom, so we flip it, and then we always express the denominator is per unit. 
okay, which is different than what the, the, the metric one here is. It's per 100 kilometers, okay, but we're looking per one gallon. So we, we have to divide that 25.16 out by itself to get the one gallon unit, all right? So this is how you go through this question. Um, <clears throat> do the second number, um, same steps, okay, and then you find that you should get the uh, same answer that you, you see in the guide.